Hey everyone, welcome back. Uh, today we have Supermarket Simulator, which is a game that's just recently released on Steam on the 21st of February. And this game has been getting some mixed reviews and a bit of a mixed response. It's been very popular on Twitch, but from what I could see, it seems like a lot of people are thinking that they're purchasing reviews and people are not very happy with the developer. So we'll dive into that a little bit as well. So let's check it out. The game at the start was amazing, but now people are walking through the walls and not entering the shop. Because of this, my son has had a horrible birthday. <laughs> oh, that poor kid just wanted to be a supermarket employee. <laughs> oh no, worst birthday ever. Alright, so this one here, this person is not happy. Refund my money. This game is not worth it. Doesn't play on my computer. Give my money back. <laughs> Not happy. 17.3 hours on record. Their review? Boring. <laughs> what have you been doing for 17 hours? If it's boring, what are you doing? There's millions of games on Steam. <laughs> Play something else. Alright, so this is what I was talking about where people were not happy with the developers and their Discord and just different things behind the scenes. So you can see here, this person has 122 hours on record and they're still playing the game 62 hours in the last week. So they're still enjoying it, but they say, this game is a zero star due to the mods on their discord. This person is stupid and banned me. Read below lol. And the community that they have on their discord. There was a woman blank on the discord that said she had a marketing degree and that Walmart was not a supermarket. I told her Walmart is a supermarket and that she wasn't the brightest in her class and that they just passed her along to get her out of their class. She thought she was smart and right. She even googled, is Walmart a supermarket? It stated that Walmart is a supermarket and she still thought Walmart was not a supermarket. Then she said, she is a big Biden supporter from New York. Explains a lot, lol. Don't support this game. If you are smart and a Republican, too many lefties that are brain dead on this game. <laughs> Blank is also a bitch. <laughs> I always find it so incredible that people manage to bring their US based politics into every conceivable game, even a game as simple as a supermarket simulator. <laughs> They've managed to get their US politics in there. I don't know why I find it so funny. Alright, so we've got a good one here. They reviewed it 5.4 hours and they say cannot play game. It will not go past the home screen. It says that I have 5.4 hours played, but I haven't been able to play at all. And you can see there 5.4 hours at review time. But then you can also see 35.2 hours on record. So they either got in and just didn't update their review or they've been trying to play this game for over one and a half days out of their human life. Which that it that would be very sad. Alright, so we've got another one here, 10.8 hours on record. It's another half-baked simulator that could be good if they actually released something that worked better than it's playable. Being disabled, this kinda is something I look for because I can't do it anymore. First glaring issue: Unity. Copy and paste assets with barely anything new or original. Second, if you're going to release a simulator, maybe work more than a day in the field you're going to release. It's a supermarket. It's really easy to get a job in them. In fact, work in several and you will notice one obvious fact. Every one of them needs a huge storage room, an office, rotors. But the thing that annoys me most is the lack of stacking items and fitting nothing on the shelves. So the reason I chose this one is because I actually work in retail. I don't feel food though, I feel like clothing and stuff, but it's not easy to just jump in and get a job in one of these places. It's really not, not in my country anyway, in Australia. We barely even put the stuff on that we require to function anyway. So there's no way you're just gonna jump in there and get a job and then leave after one day. And especially not if you're trying to learn to be a game dev or maybe a successful game dev. They do have a company website. And if you go to the company website and go to contact us, you'll see that they're based in Turkey. Now, I don't know anything about the supermarket landscape of Turkey, but I'm imagining it's not as easy to just jump in and get a job as this guy thinks. 
I don't have any issue with people using assets that they pay for from Unity Store or Unreal Engine Store, as long as they do something interesting with them. If you just download an asset and then use the demo scene and then ship that as your game, that's scummy, but just using assets that someone creates, that's perfectly fine. And that's the entire point of the thing. A skilled artist creates a product, you're a game dev with no artistic skills, you buy that product, you put it in your game. It's a it's a pretty, pretty simple transaction. Okay, so this one's a little bit of a story. We've got a big review here from someone who's played 78 hours total. And they say, not a mod friendly dev team. The game is fun. I love the complexity of it thus far. However, since there were a few bugs and balancing issues, I did what any modder would do. Look into the game files to temporarily fix them myself and share the fix with the rest of the community. Now, as of right now, everything is open and plain text format and easy to edit and look through if you know what to look for. But once I started finding errors and easily fixable bugs and started to share them on the Discord, that's when one of the devs took it personal. He and started deleting my posts and said, should I consider adding a control that blocks the game when you edit the save file externally? This way we could get rid of spoilers. First of all, it's a supermarket sim. What spoilers? Second, doing that would severely cripple and slow down the development of the game, as that would cause the community to find bugs a lot slower. And in my opinion, games last 10 times longer when there is open coding. It's safe to say that they won't be adding mod support and don't like their community trying to help them quicken the game's development. Too long didn't read. Great game, bad community relations with modders. So firstly, my thoughts on this, if it's a single player game and you buy it, then I think you should be allowed to mod it and do whatever you want. But when using those, I don't think you should share them with other people because I'm imagining spoilers in this case is seeing how big and crazy the store can become. You know, you remove a lot of sense of discovery if you start showing people how advanced it can get. So. I don't know. That would that's probably the spoilers that they're talking about. But yeah, like if you want to fix the problems yourself, go for it. If you want to send it to your friend, go for it. But probably don't put it all over their Discord and then wonder why they're like, "Hey, can you settle down?" <laughs> because, you know, I, from what I say, see here, they say one of the devs took it personal. To my understanding, there is one dev. There's one guy making this and it's, he's probably worked on it for who knows how long and then as soon as he puts it up people are immediately spamming his discord with all the things that he got wrong you, you would probably get annoyed by that did he respond in the right way well we'll soon find out because there's a dev response so here's the dev response here you can see uh canius developer hi first of all you're no modder but a cheater all you did was to cheat by editing the save file and showcase your store to the community. You've got no warning for the bugs and issues you came up with. All community knows that we are welcoming bug reports to fix them ASAP. All bug reports on both Steam community and, Dis and Discord are read and patching all the time. You don't help us at all with this behavior. Lots of people try to see where the game goes when they play, but you spoiled it all in your show-offs and didn't even achieve that progress with your labor but by cheating. Yeah, well, I'm kind of in agreement on this. If I just started a fresh game, I would not want to see the end result instantly. That would ruin my sense of discovery, but everyone plays games differently. Some people don't mind seeing it. Some people aren't, aren't too worried about that, but I'm not a fan of spoilers personally. But people have replied to this. So some of the replies to this, uh, to this developer's response uh, a little bit silly, and I thought that it was quite funny. So this person says, Wow, this developer response is incredibly immature. Modding and cheating in single player games is always valid. You are not hurting anyone's day by giving yourself extra help in a single player game. Seriously, thank you for confirming my decision to not buy this game. So, I agree that modding and cheating in single player is fine, but I disagree that you're not hurting anyone's day by showing the results of that. I think you're ruining people's sense of progression. I also find it funny that this person would choose whether or not to buy a game based on something the dev said, because my opinion always comes down to 
Is the game going to give me value? If yes, I buy. If no, I don't buy. You know, I make my own judgment calls. We've talked about them in different videos, the different ways that people will value these things. But this isn't the only person thinking like this. So this next person says, the dev response to this is extremely unprofessional and I will not purchase this game as a result. Was thinking it looked like a good or fun sim until I saw this. I don't understand the connection between a dev's response to someone's review and the fun that the game can provide. When I, I don't usually think about the dev when I'm playing games. I get on the game, I decide this is fun and I'm in there. So these people add like every developer on Facebook or something and work out what kind of memes they post before they decide to play their game. It just makes no sense to me. There was so many of these comments that it feels like it's some kind of smear campaign. It really does. It's pretty funny. So here's another. Good lord, that developer response has completely put me off the game. I just find it so crazy. I really do. So who knows? I, I feel like maybe this person had a group of friends on Discord and was like, hey, look, they responded to my game and they called me a cheater. Everyone go blast them. Appalling developer response. Accusatory behavior is unacceptable in public relations. Point about bad community relations is clearly evident. Once I got to this one, I started to think, this is a very different response to like the Power World developers talking about things or the Helldivers 2 developers talking about things. And I did a little digging and found out that the general sentiment around the game is that people are very, or some people are very not happy that the developer has used a clearly AI generated image for their store page. There's a group of people and they'll see an AI image and immediately they're like, all right, this is a trash project. They used an AI image. Terrible. I mean, you can see it. It's the background of this video. It's just an AI image. Pretty simple. Maybe they'll get some money. Maybe they'll replace it with an artist drawn piece at some point. Who knows? But it makes me wonder if there is just a hate campaign against them because the same thing happened with Power World as soon as someone mentioned AI. Even though all of that got disproven, as soon as they mentioned it, it stirred up this whole shitstorm. So, yeah, it just makes me wonder if some people are here as well, because it's just so many responses to one developer comment on one review out of all these different reviews. It, this has to be targeted. There's no way this is like natural, organic comments. Really bad community. Developers are the worst. Bad lighting issues, lots of bugs that the devs don't want fixed. They're just trying to cash in on an early access money. Don't support this game or developer. No modders support or any modding allowed. Just watch a person get banned for posting a fix to one of their issues. I can't express it enough. Garbage developers, garbage community admins, don't waste your money. And guess what? There's a dev response to this one too. So here's the dev response again from Can I Ask the Developer? Hi. I'll also reply here as I replied to your friend, another one claiming to be a modder. I released patches for every day in the first week. The last two patches were to improve performance which worked as community approved. There'll be more patches too. We're garbage community because you're banned. Cool. Thanks. So I wanted to finish this video up by just showing a message from the dev here. This is Kanias, again the, the one who's been responding to some of these reviews. And he says, hi all, the dev of Supermarket Simulator is here. I want to thank you all for playing the games and for your interest. This has been a crazy week for me. I wasn't expecting this much. I'm the only dev of the game and also doing everything else pretty much alone. I'm trying to keep up with all your feedback and issues you encounter, working on daily patches, balancing, etc. I'm sorry that I couldn't reply to you all one by one as I used to do before the release, but just know that I'm working to make the game better. My first priority is to fix all the bugs. Then I'll work on your suggestions related to quality of life, such as keyboard entry for card reader. And then I'll develop more content as in my roadmap. Thank you for your patience and I hope you enjoy the game. Thanks for all the support. Have fun. So, seems like it's just a guy and he got way more successful than he was expecting and now he's getting absolutely blasted and he made the mistake of using an AI image probably to save himself some money. So now he's got a hate mob after him. And, you know, the people are just instantly modding his game. And he probably wasn't expecting this. You know? 
When you start getting massive streamers playing your game and there's tens of thousands of eyes on your project, you can very easily, you can very easily become the target of some uh, cranky people that do not like popular things. So, you know, it could just be another case of someone suffering from success. Yeah, that'll do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure you like the video if you like it and subscribe if you have not already. Thanks everyone for watching. I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.